Hey, this is Darren LaCroix. I am just finished a presentation at iProspect, one of my biggest clients. They started a Toastmasters club there. And my friend Daniel was willing to pick me up and drive me around. He invited me to speak at NSA for their chapter in San Francisco this weekend. And since he was willing to drive me around, I was willing to teach him as we go from uh, the doing the business. And I love doing this. I get very excited when I can teach someone who's coachable, number one, and really already out there doing it. Um, so I'm excited, but I thought it might be interesting if you heard his observations of that presentation. It's interesting this morning's uh, group because they were not, uh, the coffee hadn't kicked in up for them yet. <laughs> <laughs> and so you immediately started, number one, you had some humor that you had right at the beginning, but also you posed some questions to get them to reflect right away and to think as you later emphasized in your presentation. And you had a question that was enough to start somebody to talk, and then you kind of saw them sit up in their seat a little bit more. And that happened very quickly. And uh, then you had their engagement from then on. And of course, when you showed your clip, I, I, I think it's intriguing when you show your clip of your first stand-up, because I think what that does for them, a matter of fact, the young man I was speaking to at the end, he said, I could probably do this. And I think what helped is for him to see where you started from and to where you are today. Mm. And so that really helped reemphasize your message. And it was real, real clear. And then, as I mentioned to you before, that whole cherry tree effect, being careful with your words, not just with the title of your presentation, but the words you use, because one word could send folks off to thinking about something very different than what you wanted them to think about. And so it, it, it's really being conscious of what you're saying and, and when you're saying it so that they're, they're hanging with you. And I think that's what you, you modeled that very well, very well. So I was, I was sitting there diligently taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I enjoyed the presentation and it was clear, concise, and uh, you got a lot out of good, solid content. And as you heard at the end uh, from uh, the young lady, it was great that it was motivational. And I thought, oh, okay. Because um, I found it informative, and she found it motivational. Mm. So I, 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 I thought it was good. Any other insight that you learned on the business side, like the list building or anything else? Well, and that was... Uh, as you and I had talked uh, earlier, and then to see the clipboard going around with the opportunity to sign up right there, and because you have a variety of ways that uh, you can connect with folks from your website to give them the option, do you want, which one do you want? And now you've got, I think everybody there ended up signing up because they were curious. And I think that's one thing you, you sparked was some curiosity. And uh, a number of people took from the back of the room, they did take the, your sheet back there. They made, you know, not a whole lot of purchases today, but they took the sheet, they said, uh, I might want that, mm. you know? And so there's this ongoing interest. And now with your list, what I anticipate is you'll be able to follow up with them. And when they hear from you, it's going to be like, oh, I know him. I saw him. And uh, I, I think that um, I see the connection on how you just kind of keep building because you don't know where it'll end up. Hmm. Going now to Google. I'm speaking at Google now. And we'll uh, see what he thinks after that. And then I'll actually have two presentations to compare. So thanks, Daniel. Stage time. Stage time. Hey, it takes time. Stage time.